family won the game. And now it's time to play. Yeah, let's go. All right, Drew, Jason is off stage. I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. You can't think of something, you just say pass. You and Jason together come up with 200 points. Look right there. Tell them what you're going to win. $20,000, baby. Yeah, come on, now. You ready? I'm ready. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, Drew. Let's go. Fill in the blank. Your mother says, when you were a baby, I used to love to blank you. Swaddle me. Name something that's red and round. Apple. Name a sport where the players wear spiked shoes. Football. What's the longest you've gone without checking your email? One day. Dogs look up to you. Name an animal that looks down on you. Cat. Oh. It's a big cat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said, he said, it's a big cat. Yeah. Fill in the blank. Your mother says, when you were a baby, I used to love to blank you. You said, swaddle. Survey said, Name something that's red and round. You said... Apple, survey said... <laughs> Name a sport where players wear spiked shoes. You said... Football, survey said... All right. What's the longest you've gone without checking your email? You said... One day, survey said... All right. Dogs look up to you. Name an animal that looks down on you. You said... The giant cat. <laughs> Survey said. Jason. Oh, he did all right. He got 89. Okay. You need 111. But right. let me tell you something, Jason. You can make this happen. Okay. All right, let's go. This is how we're going to do it. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. I'm going to say try again. You give me another answer. It's going to be a little bit tougher this time, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. You ready? Sounds great. All right, let's remind everybody Drew's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. Come on, man. Let's do this. Fill in the blank. Your mother says when you were a baby, I used to love to blank you. Hold you. Name something that's red and round. A tomato. Name a sport where the players wear spiked shoes. Football. Try again. Soccer. What's the longest you've gone without checking your email? Three days. Dogs look up to you. Name an animal that looks down on you. Elephant. Yeah, good job, baby. Good job, baby. Come on, baby, let's go. We need 111 points. Fill in the blank. Your mother says, when you were a baby, I used to love to blank you. You said... Hold, survey said. Yeah. Hold was the number one answer. Name something that's red and round. You said... Tomato, survey said. All right, all right. A ball. A ball was number one. 76 points away. Name a sport where the players wear spiked shoes. You said... Soccer, survey said. All right, Jay. All right, baby. Come Baseball on. was the number one answer. We're 52 points away from 20 grand. What's the longest you've gone without checking your email? You said three days. You know how many unread emails I have right now? Over 4,000. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Survey said... <laughs> one day was the number one answer. We need a big one. We need a big one. Dogs look up to you. Name an animal that looks down on you. You said... Elephant, survey said. Ah. Giraffe. Giraffe was number one. Five dollars a point, 825 bucks. But hey, they're coming right back on Family Feud. Be sure to follow Family, Family Feud on social media. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks.
Drew, Jason's off stage. I'm going to ask you five questions in 20 seconds. You can't think of something, you just say pass. You and Jason together come up with 200 points. Look right there. Tell them what you're going to win. $20,000. All right, you ready? I'm ready. 20 seconds on the clock, please. We asked 100 married women, name someone you would call if you found out your husband was cheating on you. Your mom. Tell me the age when kids learn to tie their own shoes. Four. Name something horses have that people don't. A tail. Name a kind of business that gets robbed. A bank. Name a part of the body that gets cold first. Hands. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. I like it. Let's go. We asked 100 married women, name someone you would call if you found out your husband was cheating on you. You said... Your mom. Survey said... <laughs> Tell me the age when kids learn to tie their own shoes. You said... Four. Survey said... Right. Name something horses have that people don't. You said... A tail. Survey said... All right. Yeah. Name a kind of business that gets robbed. You said... They're robbing banks. Mm -hmm. Survey said... <laughs> Name a part of the body that gets cold first. You said... Them hands. Survey said... All right, Jason. We got to put in a little bit of work. Okay. Okay, a little bit. All right. All what right. would you think? How many points do you think you would need to win this? Oh. Let's go for 90. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. I tell you what, if you get the 90, we're going to have $20,000. True, nicely done. Okay, but. <laughs> If you get 28, we gonna Ooh. have 20,000 anyway. Oh. Come on, man. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, baby. Yeah. Oh. Oh. All right. Please focus for me, man. I need to focus. Do not rush. Cool. Focus. Pay attention to my instructions, because you may need them, okay? Okay. Let's go. Let's I'm gonna ask this. you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. I'm gonna say try again. You give me another answer. It's gonna be a little bit tougher this time, so we're gonna give you 25 seconds. You ready? I am ready. All right, let's remind everybody Drew's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. All right, come on, man. We asked 100 married women, name someone you would call if you found out your husband was cheating on you. Your mother. Try again. Your father. Tell me the age when kids learn to tie their own shoes. Five. Name something horses have that people don't. A tail. Try again. A mane. Name a kind of business that gets robbed. A bank. Try again. A gas station. Name a part of the body that gets cold first. Your hands. Try again. Your feet. We did it. We did it, baby. We did it. Let's go. My man. My man. We need 28. So we asked 100 married women, name someone you would call if you found out your husband was cheating on you. You said, your dad, that's the last person you need to call. <laughs> He's going to kill him. <laughs> Do not call your damn daddy. Survey said, <laughs> yeah. Best friend and lawyer tied for the top. <laughs> yeah, 28 points away. Tell me that when kids learn to tie their own shoes, you said, five. Survey said. Five was the number one answer. Tail was the number one answer. Bank was the number one answer. Feet was the number one answer. They had them all, man. Wow. Two-day total, 20,825 bucks. And they're coming right back on Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time. You ready? I'm ready? ready. I'm ready. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Come on, Drew. Tell me an animal that would be really hard to stay on if you tried to ride it. A bull. 
Name a sugary kid cereal you still like to eat. Fruit Loops. Name something you saw, you wanted, and you got it. A car. On a scale of one to 10, how much of a leader are you? A 10. Name a fruit that comes in different colors. An apple. We got this. We got this. Tell me an animal that would be really hard to stay on if you tried to ride it. You said bull. Survey said. I'll give you the bull. Name a sugary kid cereal you still like to eat. You said fruit loop. Survey said. Name something you saw, you wanted, and you got it. You said... Car. Survey said... <laughs> On the scale of 1 to 10, how much of a leader are you? You said... I'm a 10, baby. Survey said... Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Name a fruit that comes in different colors. You said... <laughs> them apples, man. Survey said... All right, man. Drew got 133 oh. this time. You need 67. All right. All right. Ready? I'm ready. All right, let's remind everybody of Drew's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Tell me an animal that would be really hard to stay on if you tried to ride it. A cheetah. Name a sugary kid cereal you still like to eat. Fruit Loops. Try again. Uh, corn Pops. Name something you saw, you wanted, and you got it. A house. On a scale of one to 10, how much of a leader are you? 10. Uh -huh. Try again. Nine. Name a fruit that comes in different colors. Uh, apples. Uh -huh. Try again. Oranges. Oranges. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. Yeah. We need 67. Come on, man. Tell me an animal that would be really hard to stay on if you tried to ride it. You said... <laughs> well, it'd be hard to ride it because your ass ain't going to catch it. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> survey said... OK. Bull. Bull and cow was number one. Come on, man. 64. On. Name a sugary kid cereal you still like to eat. You said... Not have my pop. Corn pops. No idea what that is. <laughs> Survey said, come on. Oh. Frosted Flakes was the number one answer. Name something you saw, you wanted, and you got it. You said, a house. Survey said, oh. car. Car and truck was number one. <laughs> These some big ones. On a scale of one to 10, how much of a lead are you? You said, nine. Survey said, Eight, eight was the number one answer. Name a fruit that comes in different colors. You said multicolored oranges. Yes. Survey said <laughs> apples. Apples was number one. Five dollars a point, seven hundred forty bucks. But they got a three-day total, twenty-one thousand five hundred sixty-five bucks. And they're coming right back on Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey. We'll see you next time, folks. <laughs> You ready? Yep. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. We asked 100 married women, on a scale of 1 to 10, rate your husband's sex drive. 10. Name the state with the most doctors. New York. Name a breed of dog that would barely leave room enough for you in bed. A pit bull. Give me a word that rhymes with wobble. Pass. Name a holiday when people go out of town. Christmas. Give me a word that rhymes with wobble. Stobble. Huh? Stobble. Stobble. Oh, yeah, OK. <laughs> Stobble all that noise in there. Stop looking at me. <laughs> Stop before I beat your ass. <laughs> Stobble, I like that. We asked 100. Married women on a scale of one to 10. Rate your husband's sex drive. You said 10. Survey said. <laughs> Name the state with the most doctors. You said New York. Survey said.
Name a breed of dog that would barely leave enough room for you in bed. You said... Pit bull. Survey said... Give me a word that rhymes with wobble. You said... Stobble. Well. Survey said... Oh, hell no. <laughs> You're okay. Name a holiday when people go out of town. You said... <laughs> Christmas. Survey said... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, Drew. All right. I like this combination. You've been going first lately. Mm. Now they switch you up, because you've been getting pretty good points. Mm -hmm. It's a little tougher this time, though. Allison got 93. All right. You need 107. Good job, baby. You've gotten big points in the past. You give me what you do, what you've been doing, man. We can win this money, man. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're going to hear this sound. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say try again. You give me another answer. A little bit tougher this time, so I'm going to give you 25 seconds. You ready? Perfect. All right, let's remind everybody of Allison's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. We asked 100 married women, on a scale of 1 to 10, rate your husband's sex drive. 10. Try again. 8. Name the state with the most doctors. California. Name a breed of dog that would barely leave room enough for you in bed. German Shepherd. Give me a word that rhymes with wobble. Hobble. Name a holiday where people go out of town. Christmas. Try again. Thanksgiving. Come on, man. <laughs> we asked 100 married women on a scale of 1 to 10, rate your husband's sex drive. You said... 8. Survey said... <laughs> 9. 9 was the number one answer. 86 away. Name the state with the most doctors. You said... <laughs> Cali. Survey said... <laughs> California was the number one answer. We're 49 away. Name a breed of dog barely leave room enough for you in bed. You said... <laughs> German Shepherd. Survey said... <laughs> Great Dane. Great Dane was number one. We still need 47. Give me a word that rhymes with wobble. You said... <laughs> hobble. Survey said... <laughs> bobble. Bobble was the number one answer. Stobble, it stunned us. Because <laughs> Stobble, we just stunned it. There was no points <laughs> for Stobble. <laughs> we used it in the sentence. Stobble looking at me. <laughs> Thank you. We need 25 points. Name a holiday when people go out of town. Uh, you said... <laughs> Thanksgiving. A survey said... One answer and left. Dr. If it's really there, your family wins the game. If it's not there, the Bullbuck family wins the game and they drive away in a brand new car. <laughs> One answer. Winner take all. Name something or someone who might be wearing a collar. A doctor. This is for the win. Oh, doctor!
You ready? Yes. 20 seconds on the clock, please. On a scale of one to 10, rate how good you look with all your clothes off. Five. Name an animal that travels in a herd. Uh, elephant. Fill in the blank, yellow blank. Banana. Name something most people do early in life rather than later in life. Go to school. Name a sport where the referee could get hurt. Football. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. On a scale of one to 10, rate how good you look with all your clothes off. I'm pregnant. Yeah, but that's, you said, five, that's not true. You're pregnant, you're beautiful. Thank you. you you're a big number, you're a big number. <laughs> Survey said. <laughs> Name an animal that travels in a herd. You said, <laughs> elephant. Survey said. <laughs> Fill in the blank, yellow blank. You said. Banana survey said. <laughs> Name something most people do early in life rather than later in life. You said. <laughs> Go to school, survey said. <laughs> Name a sport where the referee could get hurt. You said. <laughs> Football, survey said. Hey. There you go. <laughs> Drew. Mm -hmm. I think the lowest number you've ever got coming out here, first or second, was in the low 100s. If you give me that again, we getting out of here with $20,000. All right, Danielle. Danielle got 96. You give me 104, man. We put 20,000 in the trunk of that car. That's over 61 grand in that car. Mm -hmm. That's a nice take, baby. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. real nice. All right, Drew, let's go. All right, let's remind everybody of Danielle's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. On a scale of one to 10, rate how good you look with all your clothes off. 10. Name an animal that travels in a herd. Uh, pass. Fill in the blank, yellow blank. Bus. Name something most people do early in life rather than later in life. Work. Name a sport where the referee could get hurt. Soccer. Name an animal that travels in a herd. Sheep. We need 104 on a scale of 1 to 10. How good you look with all your clothes off. Drew killed it. Drew said, I'm a 10, baby. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Survey said? Here we go. Yeah. 10. 10 was the number one answer. Name an animal that travels in a herd. You said? Sheep. Survey said? All right. Cow was the number one answer. 69 points away. Fill in the blank. Yellow blank. You said? The yellow bus, survey said. Oh. Yellow submarine, number uh. one answer. Name something most people do early in life rather than later in life. You said. <laughs> work, survey said. <laughs> Have kids, was the number one answer. Name a sport where the referee could get hurt. You said. <laughs> Soccer, survey said. All right. Football, football was the number one answer. But hey, folks. They got a five-day total, 42,305 bucks, and they're taking home a brand new car. Folks, we'll see you next time. We're gonna have two brand new teams to play Family Feud. I'm Steve Harvey, folks.